Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today I'm going to finally be putting together my planners for 2023. We've decided on everything and now it's time to actually put my names in them, put my sheets in them and get them all ready um, because we technically can start our planners, our new planners next week, I think, like because the last week of December is in our new planners so we could technically start them so I need to get it done like I need to stop procrastinating so I'm gonna be focusing this video more on my classic like my main planners because um, the other ones don't really have any setup I mean other than putting my name in them they don't really have any extra setup I need to do in them um, so I have this one over here is going to be my classic catch-all and then this one is going to actually be a budget planner and I'm going to be combining these two into one planner and then I have my mini planner and because I'm going to be combining them I wanted to go over some terms in case you're new to planning and don't know how to do something and then that way I can kind of show you how I'm planning to do things um, and that way you can understand why I'm doing that. So um, some terms that you might see floating around are Franken planner and transform planner um, and both of them they're different but they're both really cool and they're fun especially if you're an indecisive person like me and you have multiple planners but I don't want to have to open like 10 planners to do whatever I need to do so something you can do is you can Franken plan or transformer plan them together so that way you're not having to open all of these planners and I'm going to show you some examples of those terms so one example, I did a transformer planner in my classic catch-all. So this was the main planner. I used basically everything, um, every like everything I used of this planner was like this planner's cover. So I kept the discs, I kept the covers. You look on the back and the front, it's the same exact covers, it's well loved. <laughs> um, but you'll notice like there's two planners in here, but I wanted to keep those two planners completely separated. So if I go in here and I pull on these extra covers that I have and I flatten them, grab the discs and pull them over, I now have a completely different planner as my main planner here on the front and the back. So this is a transformer planner, which I just always thought was so cool. And you can do this with however many planner covers you want. If you wanna have a big bulky planner and you wanna put it on some expander discs and then have like all of your planners, like technically if I really wanted to, I could put like my self care planner in here. Um, the stress management planner I can't do cause it's not on discs, but like I could put my self care in here if I wanted to, I don't know. And I don't think I want to do that. Um, but now this planner is my budget planner. This is the planner that I used for budgeting. Um, so they're completely different, but then again, I can just grab the two, um, covers, flatten them, grab the discs, pull, and then now I'm back to my classic catch-all planner. So that's a transformer planner. It's just a pretty cool, it's a fun way to use your covers. Like I'm definitely, I've gotten better at it, but there was a time where I'd buy planners specifically because I wanted the cover. Um, and so, but then it's like, if I'm only using one planner and I don't like, I have a really hard time with change. And that's something that I'm like learning more and more about myself, but in my head, I'll be like, oh, I'll just change the covers monthly or halfway through the year. And the matter of fact is I don't. I don't do that. I can't. Like, I just, I have a really, like, I'm that person that has had the same wallpapers on my phone for I don't know how long because, like, I have such a hard time changing things like that. Like, it causes me stress to do that. Um, so, but this is like a good way for me. This was for me a good way because then I could use, you know, multiple covers that I loved. I mean, you can have this anyway. Right now I have mine set up with two different planners, but you could have, you know, a planner and then you can have a notes section and then you can flip it open to just have open your notes. And like the nice thing is, is if you're working on something specific, you know, then I just would open this and go to my budgeting section and then I could focus on that one or if you're wanting to focus on one other part of your planner whatever that may be so that is what a transformer planner is it's pretty cool and it's a great way again if you want to have multiple things on one set of discs but you want to keep them separated yes you could separate them with a bookmark or like the dashboard 
punch dashboards that have the tabs on the top you could totally do that but for me this was just a great way to use my covers because I have so many so that is a transformer planner now a Franken planner think of Frankenstein you're putting a bunch of parts together to make your perfect planner or what you like about a planner um, there will be so many times where I like the weekly of a planner but I don't like the monthlies or I don't like the dividers or I don't like the covers or I want this part of this planner and then I want this part of this planner so that's basically all Franken planning is is pulling bits and pieces from different planners to make one planner now this planner was actually made from this planner and it's not a planner anymore it's a journal I just put some filler paper in there and turned it into a journal uh, this was like the Maribo designs um, planner that came out last year um, but I loved this planner as far as the fact that everything in that planner was neutral I loved the neutral things there was no color in there and then I could just have a neutral horizontal planner but then they came out with a villains line and then I was like oh my gosh I have to have the Ursula cover like I want it and then I wanted the dividers but I didn't like the weeklies or the monthlies because they had stuff on them so what I did was I took my planner and I took all the insides of this out and then I kind of switched them here and there I don't have any of the old planner in here I put them somewhere or I got rid of them I honestly don't remember um, but I kept certain things of the villains planner and then I wanted to, and this is really thick, so I'm going to go halfway through <laughs> because I can't, I can't flip the pages very easily. So um, there's a couple different ways you could do this too. I'm very like, I don't like taking things apart. Um, like you could cut things and glue things together. Like really, I could have gone through. These are dividers that were from this planner. But I, because I wanted this look of like a clean, which that was when I was like, oh, maybe I'll decorate my monthly, but I ended up not decorating my monthly. So it was kind of pointless to do that. But I didn't really like the villains ones because the villains ones had stuff on them. Um, so that was also why. And then also because this page goes into a weekly of the of this planner and if I kept this then I would have had to do gluing so I mean you could glue you could tape them together um, but that's just kind of how I did it. I kept them yes it made it bulkier because I have an extra set of 12 extra dividers in here so it is making it bulkier but ultimately I, I just I wanted all of the villain cover of uh, dividers to be my main dividers um, and then again like I could have done that but I was also like some of these are cute like I don't want to tape them together and ruin them so that's basically all a Franken planner is, is pulling bits and pieces of other planners together to make the planner that you want. So hopefully that kind of helped. I don't think I have anything to Franken plan this year. Um, I was pretty set like the mini that I got is perfect as is. And then I think I'm really only going to be transformer planning. So I'm going to show you how I do that with these two planners because these are the planners that will turn into my transformer planner. So let's start with that first and then we'll get names in and then I'll put all my extra sheets. So I do need to grab this stuff out. Now I am planning for now, for now, I am planning to keep these on plastic discs. These are the fun like multi-chrome discs that are different colors and I love multi-chrome if you know it's like the closest thing I can get to hollow in a disc right now so um I love multi-chrome uh I still have this dang goopy I need to take some like I can do it later but I do need to take some goo gone to that to get that off um I haven't even taken off this one so shows you how behind I am so I'm gonna have this one be the one I'm putting everything into because I'm going to keep those discs and then I actually think this one, I'm just going to have these discs hold the rest. So what I do to not make this super bulky is I put six months, I only keep six months of my planner on the discs at a time that I'm actively flipping through and looking at. And that's just because I don't want to have to switch to expander discs. I like it to just be compact and simple. So I need to go in and take out everything from... June forward because that's one two three four five oh I guess I keep June in there I lied <laughs> June 
January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, so January through June is what's staying in my planner. Everything July through December is coming out of this planner. So I'm just going to start and grab one month at a time. I love this divider. This is probably like my absolute favorite divider. But I'll see you in six months, I guess. <laughs> It'll be a while before I see it again, but it's okay. It'll be worth it. So I'm just going to take off these, um, whatchamacallits. Now, something we do have to do is we have to switch the orientation of where these covers are. How these covers are on here isn't going to get me a transformer planner. So... It's really as simple as closing the back cover. So right now I have the back completely open and I have both covers towards the front. Now I know you're like, that's not the cover you want in the front. It'll make sense in a second. So I'm going to keep it flipped. I'm going to take this cover because this is the cover that I want to be for my monthly, but I think I'm going to use the inside of this cover. So to start this off, let's just get these off here. Oh, thank goodness. And I'm going to have these ones be, this is my front cover for this one. So again, what I'm going to do is you want to have your front cover down facing you, and then you're going to take the back cover down facing inside too. So you want to have your front cover on the right and then the back cover on the left and then close them together. So right now it still looks like it would if I were keeping this as a planner hopefully that makes sense i still have glue on here and i don't want it to stick to my planner so i gotta at least get this one off because it's gonna stick to that currently page i need glue gone i have some in my office i just this is just me being lazy about it <laughs> okay hold on let me go get some glue gone and get this off Okay, I did it. I took some goo gone to it and I got the glue off. Okay, so we're going to stick these covers on here just like this. So I'm going to put my front cover because this is going to end up being the front cover of my new planner on the discs first. And then I'm going to put the back cover on, which I know, again, that looks like the front cover, but I'm not using this as my front cover. Okay, just like so. Then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to go to this planner, which again, haven't taken anything out because I was not mentally ready. <laughs> I feel like the end of the year just came so fast and I was not ready or here for it, I guess. And I'm going to take these and I have both those covers over on this side and I'm going to put the papers behind it. Behind. And I'm going to just do that with all the months of, I'm going to do six months. Now I could do less. And again, I could put, because I have this, I could put this in here, but I think I'm going to, this one's going to go in my house. And I think this is going to live like in my nightstand, this and the stress one, just because my office, I have to walk outside. And during the winter time, I know myself, I'm not going to walk outside to like be like, oh crap, I didn't write in my self-care journal or I didn't write in my self journal, like myself, um, like the stress management journal. Like I know myself, I will not. So like my goal for 2023 is to like either wake up and do this first thing in the morning or make sure I at least do it before bed. And I think so. I think these ones will be better living in my nightstand. That way they're just there. Then I literally have no excuse not to take some time to write in it because like I don't even have to get out of bed and I definitely don't have to go outside like you know to get to it so that's the only reason why I don't want to Franken plan this with my planner because I don't take my planner inside this usually just lives on my desk in my office I reference it right when I come in and kind of look at the plans for the day and or budget for the day so this one is going to stay in my office so I'm just going in and I'm putting six months of this. And again, you don't have to do that much. You could do four months of each and then maybe you do a note section or you could 
um, just do less anyway, like whatever you're wanting. And again, if you're wanting to have everything on your planner, then just switch to expander discs. But it's going to get thicker over the next few months anyway, because once stickers get in here, it's going to get thicker. So that's why I like to only keep six months at a time. So two, four, I think I need one more. Oh yeah, June. Duh. So I'm going to stick those on here. And then all I'm going to do is just take the other six months of my main planner and I'm going to put them on here on these discs just so that way they're all together. And then that way when it's time to switch to, you know, the rest of the six months, um, the rest of the year in my actual planner, like they're all together and I don't have to look around for them. Sorry, I took two months at a time. That was a bad idea. This takes longer. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna take these and slide these back on to these discs real quick. And then that way I don't have to worry about losing them. And then I have so many covers, I'll, I usually just take a random cover, throw it on there, throw it on my shelf, and then I have to go through the, <laughs> okay, which cover did I use? and then figure out where it is on my shelf. But at least these are all together. So I have a full year's worth, but it's July through December for both of those two planners. Okay, so I don't have a cover right now. So I'm just gonna set that aside because I don't need any more. All right, and then this one is done as far as frame planning. Now, what I can do if I wanna be in my budget, I'm gonna open this up, grab the discs, pull, and then voila, now I have this planner in the front. And you can see now I have the back cover, but I'm using that as my front cover. And then I'll open it up. And so this one is the monthly. This will be my um, budget planner. Now, if I go all the way to the back of this one, you'll see I have the back cover of this one. And again, if I just open it up and then grab the discs, pull, set it down. Now I open it and now I have this planner as my front planner and this is my classic catch-all. So that's how to do a transformer planner if you've never done it before. Again, you can literally do this with however many covers. Like I've done, I think I've had at least three or four covers um, at one time um, going. I mean, you can literally, again, it just would depend on your disc space and then how many months you want to use, but you could do this with so many, and it's just a great way to use your covers, and like maybe one day you want this to be the planner that you're coming into um, when you go into your office, or like sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I work on budget first thing when I come into my office tomorrow, so I'm going to set it up on my budget, so that way right when I open it, I'm on the budget section of my planner. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. I hope that helps anybody that is like me and likes to hoard covers, but it is a good way to do it so that way you can use some of your covers. Okay, so now it is time. We're gonna put my name in it. I think, okay, I have two different options. I have, I have just my nickname and then I have my full name. And to be fully honest, I don't like using my full name. It's Johanna. I don't know, I just, I, I've always gone by Jojo and sometimes when people call me by my full name it just throws me off and then I just don't <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> I don't know why um, but I think I'm gonna put my full name in this planner just cuz like it's mine <sighs> I think I'm gonna do it and then I think I'm gonna put my nickname in my mini planner um, so let's do that I got to figure out these ones are from Alicia um, I got them last year and I think I only used those two. So like, I'm glad I still had these and I'm glad I got them cause it's like, they last forever. I'm just deciding on what size I want to do. It's like, I like my name when other people write it. I hate my name when I write it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a problem. I can't tell. I think these two are the same. This one's definitely smaller than all of them. I think these two are the same. And then this one's really long. What do they do in my current planner? Oh, I don't have the rest of it in here and it's somewhere on my shelf. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, I don't know which one I want to do. I don't want to go over the line. I think I'm going to use the big one though. I feel like the big one's the only way to go. Go big or go home, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to pull this off. I've got my name. Eee! 
This is always like <laughs> one of those like, I did it. All right, my name is in. And she included these cute little decals that I want to use. And I feel like it, these go along with this planner, the florals. Okay, name is in here. Um, I, I failed and I was meaning to, I got to make out of vinyl. I think I'm going to put like our last name and then budget or something like that. But I got to make it out of vinyl and I failed. I was trying so hard to make sure I was so prepared and then I failed and then I forgot to do that. So, okay. So in my classic catch all, there's not too much extra things I need in here and I don't really need to do anything to prep these pages right now but I'm going to go to the very back of this one now usually like I did in this one usually I have a divider and this one kind of has all of my extra sheets in it this is the one I used to have and I think I'm going to do a different one for this planner so I brought out all of my dashboards these are all the bookmarks that I've gotten. I had dashboards, um, but I like the full ones just cause then it doesn't have that weird, cause these are shorter. So like if you write and then it goes on the button, like, you know, I don't know, that just bugs me. So I'm gonna use this really pretty vibrant purple leopard one. Cause I feel like this goes well with both of these planners. So I think I'm gonna use this one. And I just like to use this to separate my extra sheets from like where the planner ends. So I'm going to stick this in here and then I'm going to open that up. So some extra sheets that I'm sticking in like my personal classic one, which I did make a couple extra sheets. So some those of you that were asking for like a part two of like extra sheets, I didn't have time to do a part two, but I can show you the other sheets that I made. So these ones are the ones that I made in my 10 sheets to make for um, whatchamacallit for your planner for 2023. So I'll be putting my TV show tracker in here. And the nice thing about this one is if I fill it up, I have a back on it so I can just add to it, which I'm sure will watch a booty ton of TV shows. So not super worried about that. And then I have my movies tracker and this one has movies to watch at home and then at the theaters. And then let's see, I think I'm going to put I think this one I'm going to put in my self-care. Some of these I have to. I think this one and this one are going to go in self-care, in like my self-care journal. So that way they're together with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the travel tracker in here so I can reference these. And then this self-care one I'm also going to stick in the self-care journal. This one's going to go in the budget section, so we're not there yet. And then I'm going to do the free time wish list in here so I have these ones so these are the ones you've all seen so far then I made a couple of other ones so I have my word of the year which I think this one should start it and I finally decided on it I was toggling around with self-care um but when it got down to it release just seemed like a really good word of the year for myself because something uh things are just so hard for me and i get very overwhelmed when there's changes but we're just constantly in a season of change and i'm trying to learn like it is okay to be in a season of change and lots of changes happening um and one of the things i really want to work on is being able to let go and just like let those changes happen and not be so stubborn about it because i feel like if i'm stubborn about it i get held back by things and things end up blowing up about it so i just so release was just a really good word that i really wanted to focus on so i made this sheet i have to still fill in and it's going to kind of basically say what i said um just like a little shorter just you know this is what i want to focus on and why so i'm gonna actually going to have this one the first page that is in here like in this section so i have my release page then another page you can make and this one was super easy i wanted to make a page to look at when I'm feeling down or I'm not feeling good enough 
or I'm just like frustrated and I'm over it and I want to give up on things. This is that sheet. And this one was super easy to make. I literally just found some florals I liked, matching boxes just to give them a little bit more pop. But then I went and went through some quote sticker books. I think all of these are from Amber Plants Her Day, her volume two quotes. Um, and just put some quotes down that like, then I can say these over myself when I'm having those moments. So and believe it or not, it happens more often than not. So I wanted to make a sheet specifically for that. And I'm like, part of me wants to do it for like different occasions. And I think that would be really fun to do. But even just like looking at the pretty florals, like that's a good serotonin boost. <laughs> so that's another one. Then some other ones. These ones aren't going to go in here, but I'll just show you since we're on the subject. I made some more goals. So I had this goals which I made with you guys but I also went ahead and added self because I wanted to do goals for different aspects of my life so this goals one is for like myself like what for myself do is like my goals and again that's going to probably go along with my word which is release and then I wanted to make a business goals page and then on the back of it I did social media goals so this one will go in my social media planner so that's that one and then I wanted to make a family goal, so this one can go in here, but this is family goals. And then I wanted to do a budget goals. What are things that we want to achieve with our budget in 2023? So I think I'll put this one in the budgeting section, actually, since it has the budget. And then I made a car maintenance. Um, some things that we focus on is changing the oil, tires, and an alignment. And then I only have one thing for wash car because um, we have, like, a membership. And so that's just kind of, like, whenever. Um, but usually my car gets washed once a week. So just something like that. But because we have a membership, you know. I feel a little bit better about it, um, but I thought car maintenance would be good so I can keep track of when was the last time we went, when should we go again, that kind of thing. So this one will probably also go in budgeting. And then the last sheet, I kind of talked about this one in that 10 pages video. I made one of these for 2022, but it's an adulting home tracker sheet. And what I use this sheet for is I like to keep track of when I buy things, especially if we're buying stuff from Costco or Sam's Club. It's just nice to kind of keep track of how many times we're buying those bulk items because then I can plan for it. Like my goal one year, like maybe not for 2023 because I'm kind of behind on it, but maybe for 2024, like if I know like, hey, I bought this much of this, like part of me kind of wants to just like stock up on it, like say at the beginning of the next year. So that way I like have it for the entire year and then I don't have to buy it. And then I can set aside a budget for how many times I had to buy this. Obviously this is for stuff that doesn't expire quickly. Um, but, and usually that stuff, like usually this stuff that would be in here wouldn't expire within a year anyway. So it'd be okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what I like too. So usually um, I have spaces for categories and then I'll put it. So like say I do like laundry detergent. How many times a year did we buy that? Cat litter. How many times am I buying that? Um, you know, dishwash soap. Like so just different things. So this is back and front because there are a couple things that we like to keep track of that we kind of buy in bulk. Um, but I just kind of wanted to use this more as like a prepping for budgeting for how much and how many times I buy that in a year kind of thing. So this one will go also in the budgeting section. So those are all the extra sheets that I made. There are some extra sheets that I'm going to put in here, but they don't go along with this. Oh, one sheet. I know why, because it was buried. One sheet, another sheet you can make for your planner is a birthday list, which this one is so fun to make. Um, this isn't even all of it. Why do I have it separate? Okay. So this is what my birthday list used to look like. This one is super old. I've kept it more again because I don't like change. And part of me likes this one better because it's lines and my handwriting isn't all sloppy. Whereas like this one is new. I made it here on YouTube a few months ago. Um, and I love it because it's florals, but it didn't have lines. And so it low key bothers me. Um, but I like to put the birthday trackers in here that way, like, at the beginning of the month, if you're setting up your currently page and you're a person that likes to have, you know, all the birthdays or any important events like on your currently page, you could flip to this, reference it real quick, and then add all those. So I'm going to put this one 
in here. I have both of them again because part of me is like, I want to remake this with lines or something. Um, but you can make a birthday list. So that's another sheet that you can make for your planner. Okay, so let's go to my budgeting section. So kind of just gonna open this weird, did not open it the right way. Budgeting section, I still need to print out a vinyl for that. So we're gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna go to the very back of it. And again, I'm gonna separate it. I don't know which one I wanna separate this one with. I don't have a lot of like these big. Ooh, I like this Hello Beautiful. I forgot about this one. <laughs> it's nice when you find things that you forgot about. Cause I was like, none of the other ones go. So I'm gonna use this Hello Beautiful to separate all those extra sheets that I'm gonna be putting in here. So I have the adulting sheet. It's gonna go in here. I have a car maintenance sheet, which also goes along with adulting. <laughs> so we can have a little section that's dedicated just to that. Then I have our family goals that can go in this section. Okay, I don't think I have anything else that should go in the back of here. I'm missing sheets though, and I don't know where I put them. I have some sheets for budgeting, but now of course I lost them. Um, I have a utilities tracker. I'm gonna put this one towards the beginning my utilities tracker that I made. And then I have some inserts, but I set them somewhere and now I can't find them. <laughs> There's a bunch of, oh, I found them. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I got these ones. These are from, um, these are from plan with Elise. These are some printables that I just grabbed from her. So the monthly bill tracker, um, every single month I go through on my monthly pages and I write down all of our bills for the month, but this will be really, and sometimes, and usually what I'll do is I'll take the previous months out and then I'll go to the new month and just copy them. But I'm like, it'll be so much easier to just take this page out and then I can copy them. It doesn't necessarily have to live on that month, but it'll be nice to just take this out and hop it around where I need it. So I'm going to actually put this one at the beginning over here and then that way when it's time for me to fill in this page all I have to do is take this out and then go over there and I punched it crooked so I'm gonna have to remake it I punched it crooked and I don't like it so I'm gonna have to reprint it out but that's okay then I did this tracker so I still have to do all the math for it um, but I'm our goal is to have three months worth of expenses saved um, by the end of the year so that's our goal uh, so I got to take you know I got to do the math of how much that is and then figure out divide it by however many of these there are and then do that and then I'll color these in every time we are able to save some we've already saved like a thousand we did like you know your thousand emergency fund so that's kind of like this for that so we already have that so I kind of got to figure out how many I already get to color in um so I think I'm gonna have this one mm, I guess I'll just do it at the end because it'll be easier to just flip open to that all the time because this one and these two are definitely something I'll be filling in all the time and I think I cut that one cricket too so it's fine <laughs> So I'm gonna have those in there. So I still need to do the math for that, um, but at least I'll get to start it off with coloring it in a little bit. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so that's how I'm going to set up my budget section. Now in my budget section, I kind of went over how I was gonna use it, um, how I'm using a monthly as my budgeting. Uh, and then that's just kind of something I'll have to do with my husband as well. It's just kind of go over like, well, this will be something He'll come into my office <laughs> and we'll kind of sit down and go over each month kind of thing. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this for goals that we want to do and track habits, eating habits. And maybe I use it for, um, I thought it could be fun. I'm going to try this out for January, but I think I'm going to use this for each one of us and kind of see 
who spends more so that way I can kind of get down to the bottom of it so that way like maybe by February I'm like okay you ate out this many days so like let's not do that or like I did that so I'll have one for myself one for my husband and then the other one will most likely be like an overall like we're doing this this month um, with our finances so that's probably how I'll use that and at least for January because I think that'll kind of be fun to just like see what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are starting the year with like new goals and like not going over budget on things, but I still think it'll be nice to know like how many times we still do that. Cause you know, we still have to build those healthy habits. Um, and then we'll have our priorities for the month. And then I'm just planning to use this as a running check register. So that way I can kind of total and there won't really be a ton of stickers in this planner. Um, but I'll probably definitely be going in with like colored pens and that stuff and do like a key for I'm purple. My husband could be blue. Nay can be blah, blah. And then like the house could be a different color and then just write certain things in different colors because that always just brings me joy to look at. So that's how I'm planning to use this. So we'll see how it goes. I'll give you guys a month update. <laughs> um, you know then. So there we go. We have our first planners set up with our extra sheets in there you could even add more bookmarks in here if you wanted to really separate those but it doesn't bother me too much so I'm gonna leave it like that so classic planner is ready to go my mini planner is gonna be easy I don't have anything crazy to do with it although I don't know what happened to my mini planner it disappeared it went poof there it is the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the discs. So I'm using the 90s vibe. Still have to put my name in it. So I'm going to take that out and find this one. Amber lettered these for me. So I got to figure out which one I want. I guess I'll do the smaller one because that might be better to do. E and I'm going to put my name in there. What did I use in this one? Oh, yeah. I used a big one of that one. Now I can use a smaller one. Name is in. It's official. So I think the only thing I'm going to do is switch the discs on this. I want to switch it to metal because this planner gets thrown around. And <laughs> I'm really surprised these discs didn't break. But I think by the time I started really throwing it, it was already chunky. So it just, it had a lot of cushion. But I think this time I'm going to go ahead and put discs. So I brought out some of my mini discs because I think I'm going to keep it on mini discs. Although, yeah, it's just like until it gets thicker, like really, it's not that bad when it's still on mini discs. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it on that. So as I'm looking, I think I'm going to do purple because... Purple just makes everything better. I could do two different shades of purple if I wanted to be snazzy about it, but they have different, they have a little bit of a different look to them. So let's do the dark purple. Dark purple it is, if I could pull them out. So I need seven of these. Four, five, six, two, four, six, seven. Okay, we're good. And then I just destroyed how my discs were. So switching these out. The easiest way I found to switch your discs is to start with the covers first. So take the covers off and then take one cover, go in and add all the discs to it. Pretty easy peasy. And then do the same thing with the back and then just add the back on. I just think doing the cover first makes it a little bit more stable than if you tried to do all the paper pages first. And then one month at a time, you just take it. And the more you go, the easier and more stable it'll get. But you just kind of got to get through a little of unstableness and then it'll be pretty easy once you start getting them on there it'll even out a little bit and it won't be as difficult
And then the last set, you just end up ripping the discs off. <laughs> and voila! Metal discs for my mini. Let's set these in my little drawer. And then my mini is all ready to go with beautiful purple discs. Has my name in it. So I don't really have to do anything special with this either. So hopefully it won't get as bulky as my old one because I won't have a whole second set of dividers in here. So hopefully it won't get as busy. So mini planner, check. Now my social media planner. This was my social media planner for um, this year. Uh, so I want to change it up. I love that cover, but I think I'm going to change it. And I wanted to do stitch because I absolutely adore stitch. Now I don't have my sheets ready to put in here and that's because I kind of decided with my printables and if you don't know what I'm talking about um, I have them linked down in the description below but I like to use daily sheets for my social media um, and like business to do's because um, those kind of go hand in hand but uh, I decided I was going to make my own principles for those. That way I just can have them at my disposal for whenever I need them, however many I need them. And then I don't have to wait for other people to re-release them or just to find the ones that I like. Like I made them how I wanted them to be, um, but they're available for you guys. But what I kind of decided with those is that I wasn't going to cut them and punch them until after I decorate them because it'll just make it easier if I want to do decorations along the spine then I don't have to worry about um you know a struggle with punching it so this is what they look like and they come in a couple different options but I don't have these ready like I haven't cut this yet um so and I think I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut them all but I'm just not gonna punch them because then I can do decorations down the spine and then punch it later and it'll be so much easier to punch them um and I tested it that out yesterday um in my social plan with me because I tried these out so if you want to see these in action in my social plan with me that I did yesterday I used my new sheets which was really exciting so I don't have any of those yet but this I do want to get this somewhat ready so that way you know I can just start popping them in here once I do have sheets decorated so haven't even broken into this planner yet I do want to change the discs I just haven't decided I think I want to do blue but I'm also like undecisive about it um, but I definitely need to switch from classic, but I don't think I'll do that right now. I think I'm just going to set it up how I think I'm wanting it. And the nice thing is it has dividers, so I might use the dividers for all my extra sheets that's going to be in here. And then have like another, and like the next divider will be for like all my currently, or not my currently, <laughs> my daily sheets behind that. So I'll most likely take out all of this, but for now I think I'll just go ahead and add in um, all my extra sheets. So I'm going to be doing my business goals in here. This sheet will go in here. Um, my, this one's a really important one. I looked at this one all the time. Social media taxes. I feel like I had more. Did I not have more? I thought I had more that was going in here. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, well, maybe that's all the extra sheets that I had going here. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take out some paper because this just too much. There's too much paper in here already. I mean, I know I'm going to switch the discs, but at least once I do it, it won't be as much of a pain in the butt because I will have already taken out most of the paper. So I'll probably just stick these on another set of discs and stick it somewhere. So I think the last divider is going to be where my daily sheets are going to go. And then the middle divider will be for, which I'll show you in just a second, because I have it. Gotta get these out. Okay. Then the middle divider will be for these sheets, which I love using. I've been using these. These are monthly overview, so you can see the entire month. They're undated, but I've been using these sheets to plan out my videos for the month. So I'll sit there. And, you know, I'll write all the videos that, you know, like Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are always the same. So that means I have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday as like what I call extras videos. But then I'll just kind of go through and plug in 
things um, and put it on there. And then on the back, it has a note. So sometimes I'll write down ideas of videos that I want to do. And then that way I can kind of use that and then I can plug them in wherever I need. So I have 12 of these. I love these sheets. They're my favorite. These ones in particular were from a Be Happy box. I don't think it's still available, but these are my favorite because they're completely neutral. <laughs> like some of the other ones I've seen have color. And if you know me, I just like neutral stuff. So I'm going to have this one in this section. That way I can kind of separate those things. And then I'll leave for now, I'll leave some paper in here for extra little notes. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put this before. I think I'm going to do these before here. It was usually easier. I don't need to see this every day, but you know, let's open to some goals. So that way we can make sure we're staying on track with our goals. So this will be my social media. Again, I got to switch it to some metal discs. I just haven't decided. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. I don't know what discs I want it on just yet, but at least I have that ready to go and then in the back is where I'll start putting my daily sheets once I'm ready and then I'll probably still take out some more of that because if you see this one it gets full pretty quickly especially doing dailies but I think this next year dailies I think I'm only going to do them for Monday through Friday so I think I'm only going to be doing five at a time because I have so many in here that I haven't gotten to yet because I have I've been doing them for seven days so like I've kind of just been jumping around and picking the pages that I wanted to use <laughs> um so it'll be it'll be good I think doing Monday through Friday on daily sheets will be better because sometimes I don't do anything on Saturday and then best case scenario I do something on a Saturday I can just make a sheet for it because sometimes it's fun to write things down that you already did <laughs> you know Okay, so this will be my social media. I have my sheets in there ready to go. The last planner that I'm just going to throw stuff in real quick. It doesn't really need to be set up other than putting... Oh, it doesn't even have a name page in it. So, not even going to put our name in it. But I am going to put all of these sheets in here. And again, this is going to live in my bedroom. So, I have self-care how many times did I give myself self-care I want to make sure I'm doing that every month and I know that can mean like several things but I want it to be like sometimes you just have to feel like it's a little bit more special than and one thing self-care that I've already done is one of my best friends helped me go shopping and we basically like redid my closet so I'm excited so it'll be like for me <laughs> that self-care might be like actually putting effort into like feeling good looking good because like you know like if you put some effort into yourself in the morning like you feel a little bit better so I'm excited to try that out I have this yearly mood tracker this one was a printable from Etsy um but basically this one I will just write down um happy sad grumpy mad tired anxious whatever those moods will be um and then i'll associate them with a color and then all i have to do is go in every morning and just kind of like cover and i might do it like maybe how i woke up because like you know some days you wake up grumpy <laughs> some days i wake up and i'm like i'm ready to be productive like it just kind of depends and then like maybe like what after dinner or evening whatever that might be so that'll be for that and then i'll have my goals myself goals things I want to improve for myself and all that good stuff so like I said this is going to live in my bedroom along with I guess I can at least to set them up I can at least just take off <laughs> take off all of these things that are like you haven't even touched it yet this will be interesting to use a spiral bound already I'm like that was annoying to take these off <laughs> oh, I guess that's a better way to do it so these two are going to live at my bedside table oh I could put my name in this one okay let's put my name I feel like I have to do my full name for this one Ugh, see spiral bound killing me but I didn't necessarily like the look of I mean I guess they were kind of the same but I don't know I just wanted to try the spiral bound and I like that it had a super hard cover so I was like might as well but let's use this one put my name in here so it's official name is in and I'm gonna take these little stars because why not 
And then I only have two more, and those will probably be for next year. <laughs> um, I can just put those up there. Okay, so yeah, these two planners are going to live at my bedside table. So that way I can make sure I don't have any excuses because I know myself and I know if I leave these in my office, my one thing will be like, oh no, I didn't do that. And I'll be sitting in bed and I'll be like, oh, well, I'll try to do it tomorrow and then I'll forget. And then I know myself as soon as I get more than like two days behind, I'll just give up. So <laughs> I'm like, if these are at my bedside, like they'll at least be in the house. It'll be easier to grab them um, than having to come out, especially during the cold winter season it'll be easier so there we go you guys those are all my planners i still have my memory planner but um i'm not i'm not done with my current one so and it'll still be like another week or so so i'm not really worried about setting up my big planners just yet but these two again living at my bedside social media all i have to do is figure out discs but other than that it's pretty much ready my mini all ready to go and it's hollow beauty and then my transformer planner with my catch-all and then my budget planner so we'll see how this goes i'm super curious and hopefully this year will just be a good year to stick with and try new things um but there you go you guys i know this was a super long video so so sorry about that but planners are set up ready to go hopefully explaining transformer and franken planning was helpful that we could kind of decide exactly what you want to do with your planners but we get to start our planners next week so whoop whoop um but i still hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye